Alrighty, let's get this started. Wait a minute, this isn't Raven Odyssey. Yeah, this is my nightly ritual of playing Fantasy Zone before I actually play the game. Um, this is going to be us waiting for people to show up. So, uh, enjoy Fantasy Zone. I hope that you can hear it just fine, by the way. You should be able to. Raven Opa C. Opa C sounds like the Bussy meme. That's terrible. Wah. <laughs> Already starting with the wah. Okay, let's not, let's not embarrass ourselves tonight, okay? And by we, I mean me, of course. I will try not to embarrass myself. I can't promise anything, though. So, uh, if you weren't here last night for this, um, this is the other mode. Starring Opa Opa's brother, where... He, the story is he took, he saw his, how rich his brother was from saving the fantasy zone. So he took his brother's money. Uh, and basically every, uh, every shot you make costs money. And the more money you have, like, the more shots you can take. So it's a bit of a challenge mode in a way. But you could really break the game because of how you can just use the weapons as much as you want. And by the way, the, the audio sounds fine, right? I assume it does. Can you guys hear the game just fine? Because, of course, it's always a crying shame if you can't hear the Fantasy Zone music. Oh, don't get hit by that. By these funny leaves. I swear the bosses are harder in this mode, too. It's not just because Oopa Oopa's uh, shots are, are weaker. It's fine. You know, everyone says that the audio is fine, then it ends up being way too quiet on the stream when I double check it. Man, this really is harder than when with Opa Opa. Or the more money you have, the better. So, uh... O Opa Opa is like the first character that has to... Well, not the first character, but he did the money collecting thing before Wario did. <laughs> I find that pretty funny. I wonder if he and Wario would get along. But then again, Opa Opa's not doing it out of greed. He's doing it because the alien forces have taken control of the money. And he has to get it back. And I guess he's helping the economy by spending and spending and spending. I have a feeling we'll, we'll do this just fine tonight. Last night was a kind of a shit show, but it's fine, I'll do it tonight. Taco Opa Opa, what the fuck are you talking about? No tacos. Uh, seven way shot. Seven way shot just destroys that boss. It's probably one of the few times I'll recommend using a subway shot, otherwise just laser it the whole time. Laser is way too good. It's way too good because it's way it's like way cheaper than the seven way shot. Yeah so uh I keep thinking about how I really hope that Splatoon 3 will be moddable like day one. And I'm not talking about like cheating mods, I'm talking about like model replacement mods. Oh that was close. Because I would definitely love to mod in an Opa Opa hat for myself to wear. And while I was looking up information about stuff, because I'm really impatient about Splatoon, apparently people are already getting banned for modding the game. Because, you know, if you look on YouTube, you'll see people have modded Splatoon to play early. So that's kind of crazy. I'm with them, though. I can't fucking wait. This game's taking way too long to come out. Don't get hit by the lasers. I'm being a little cautious here. Seven way shot. Awesome. So some more general tips for this game is uh when you kill enemies, don't bother going for their for their money. The real money makers are the bosses. Like you get so much money from the bosses, you don't even have to bother with the the regular enemies. Of course, it doesn't hurt to pick up more, like, regular enemy stuff, too, but the bosses are just... Again, that's where the real money is. And, of course, the smart bomb is really good on the upper coming boss. Let me just get rid of these enemies. Oh, I haven't got rid of this yet. Last base. Ooh, don't get hit by that. That is a really scary formation. Anyway, check this out. So you get a smart bomb, and what a smart bomb does, it destroys everything on the screen. It does minor damage, but uh, this boss just gets destroyed from it. 
Oh yeah, epilepsy warning by the way. <laughs> so if you play this game, you can just exploit it with, by buying a bunch of smart bombs. It's kind of skipping back and forth. Um, oh god. Uh, hopefully it won't do it too much. It's been pretty good for the past week, so... God, I hope it doesn't keep skipping. But, uh, I, uh, I recommend when you first play this game, don't do the smart bomb exploit. I, I recommend trying to fight the boss because part of the fun is trying to figure out how to fight the boss without it. Especially since later on, there's a boss rush level and it's really hard to get your hands on more weapons. So it would be good to hone your skills to do it without the smart bomb. God damn it. Those fucking shots just come out of nowhere, I swear. They're so small and hard to see. Also, I swear this mode you get overrun with enemies a lot quicker than with Opa with Opa. Opa. Yeah, go figure. The, the brothers are named so similarly. Also, the the whole you know the spaceship has a fucking brother. Oh god. And he has a whole family. The final boss is his dad after all. So. Okay. So the seven way shot looks like it will be really good on this boss, but just laser it. You just want to laser everything, really. Ugh, why did I do that? Oh no, we're not making it to the end tonight. Oh my god. I swear when I first played this game, I did this no problem. This is also the like the hardest boss in the game. Okay. Do you think fantasies aren't created in the game? Oh my god, you have no idea. I'm still mad that Sega's just forgotten this series. I'm very upset about it. I'm upset again. Fantasy Zone definitely deserve, deserves a new game. In fact, I bet you Fantasy Zone would be a great roguelike because the whole point of it is just, you just do you just pop in real quick. You buy you buy your weapons and items, and I can see it working with the roguelike kind of structure. I don't like roguelikes honestly, but I think that Fantasy Zone would be perfect for it. The whole shop system. I can't believe I didn't die yet. They really want you to use the 7-way shot on the stage, but the 7-way shot is so expensive, I'm not even going to bother. Just laser everything. And then my controller's drifting. Fantastic. Oh, almost ran straight into that. No smart bomb. I might as well use smart bombs right now, because this, this is getting way too ridiculous. I think we're good. Come on, don't, don't kill me. I have one life left. How the fuck did I beat this before? My god. Oh goodness. I can't believe that didn't kill me. It's fine, it's fine. You can do it, yes I can. We're almost there. Just one more stage after this, then we're at the final boss. And hopefully, well not the final boss, but the final level. Believing is key. Uh, believing in yourself isn't going to solve world hunger. Just putting out that right now. Also, Santa isn't real. I hope you uh, can understand this. You know, I'd probably beat this with the five lives instead of three lives. God. It's the only way I could reach the end. I suck at this game still. And it, it still makes me upset how much I suck at these games, just like playing them for so long. You gotta believe! You gotta understand the concept of love, really. Oh no, that's it. That's the run. Okay, that's enough fantasy zone right now. Science put the presents under my tree, says Ray. <laughs> oh man, how embarrassing. I swear I beat this game before. It says right there, like, my, the first rank is me. Dag, Nabbit, and Deed. I have failed. I have failed Opa Opa's brother. It's fine. How depressing. Whatever. I'll do it next time. Okay, we're going to start up Raven Odyssey now. Thank you for looking at Fantasy Zone again. Uh, that was a pretty short Fantasy Zone session, but that's fine. Ray is the want denier. <laughs> Actually... Before we start that, check out what my boyfriend has done for me. This is pretty cute. Super Mario Odyssey. 
There's an Opa Opa me. We're gonna put it over the, the weird man right there. I'm happy with it. Okay, bye Opa Opa me. It's really well done. Alright, we're back at the um, Vol Mount Volcano, the Luncheon Kingdom. Again, my favorite kingdom in this game. Uh, now that we've beaten... We've, we've reached the, the, the first arc. Every, a lot of things have changed here. Now, I could probably use that me in Smash. Oh, this is this up uh, up here is like for that like second part whatever. Oh, uh, what else can I do right now? What's new here? I need to bring a hammer brother over here. Oh, there's one right there. The blast tore apart everything. Now I can't get to the plaza. It looks the same as before though. Oh, I can't capture that guy. Weird. Wait, how come I couldn't capture him? I should have been able to. There we go. Why did he die before? How weird. Actually, do the fireballs destroy cheese blocks? I know I, I need something for that. I probably need to get... I probably need to find a actual actual hammer brother. Probably. Yeah, I need to find a hammer brother. Hey, this is an accurate to Mario. Opa Opa and Metopia. <laughs> Opa Opa Metopia. I, mean, I could stream Metopia. But again, after this game, I'm going to be streaming uh, the Splatoon 3 single player. And if I'm lucky, we'll be able to. Oh god, I'm, I forgot the controls. Oops. <laughs> if we're lucky, I will be getting. Uh, I, will, I will hopefully be able to mod it pretty early on. Fuck. Oh, nice. Do I need to bring this somewhere? I'll leave this to be for now. I, I definitely won't be streaming any multiplayer, just single player. Multiplayer makes me too salty in Splatoon. I probably said this many times before, but Splatoon is like the game that just pisses me off like the most out of any game. Every time I play Splatoon, I want to throw my Joy-Con out the window. I look forward to the, uh, the the early days where people are still learning, so it's not going to be too bad. Hopefully. I need to get a Potoboo. Not Lava Bubble, a Potoboo. I hate having to shake controllers. Do I take the controller for this? What the hell are these? Little vegetable chunks. Oh, they look so raw and gross. Oh, the stream like froze. Okay, it's fine now. God, I can't believe I changed them setting and it's still like bouncing around. That's so annoying. Thinking Gordon Ramsay. Don't you mean Gordon Ramsay Ray or something? What's in here? Nothing? Have I been here yet? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I've been in here. Moon. Just put the moon back here. Corner of the magma swamp. Oh no! Oh no! Wow, that sucked! Oh, it's just 10 coins. What a slap on the wrist. Look at I've already got four of those ten coins back. That's 40% of the coins I just missed. 40% is almost 50. Do you plan on getting Splatoon digital or physical? I'm gonna get a digital. I Splatoon's a game I want to have on me at all times. Oh fuck! So you know, uh, playing Fantasy Zone once more, 
has made me realize, I, I brought this up in my Hat in Time stream, but I really adore character designs that kind of, uh, they kind of show what the character's all about without having to force it, like, for Fantasy Zone, Opa Opa is a spacecraft, he's, he's a sapient spacecraft, and they could have easily made it to, like, Oh, it's just a human driving a small little spaceship. But no, they made it. They made the shapes, the spaceship alive. And I feel like it, like it shows that he can do whatever he needs to without having to be a human. Um, for example, like in Hat in Time, for Hat Kid. Hat Kid's a fine design, but like if you look at her, nothing really says. Oh, this is a double jumping person. This is a, a very athletic little girl. Um. And again, as I said in my Hat in Time stream. If Hat Kid was a girl or, or a, a bird or something winged like that, it would make more sense why she can for sort through the skies and double jump and stuff. If she had wings in some fashion. Another great character design that kind of shows what like what he can do for what he's all about without having to force it is Kirby. Kirby's like a little balloon guy. He's very simple, so when you get the uh, when you actually get powers, it really contrasts well with how simple he is. Um, he can puff like a balloon. Uh, Chibi Robo is a game I love, and his design is fantastic. Chibi Robo is a small little robot. His head opens up to put stuff in. Um, he, he being a robot, he has to recharge. Like it could have e easily been like a small human doing all this stuff, but the fact they went the extra mile to be creative and make a small little robot that does this stuff, I commend that kind of creativity. Humans are mid. So what you're saying is human characters fucking suck, which is true. Honestly, I don't think it, I don't think it's completely true. I think human characters can work just fine, but when they go the extra mile to make it a creative, like its own species, especially a species that doesn't have to rely on uh, gen uh, generic human stuff, I think it's amazing. Oh, there's something here. I can feel the controller rumbling. Oh, it's just a heart. I think human designs can be fine. Like this game, I think Mario's design is fine. But if he was something, if, if he was something that can actually like, if he was a kangaroo or something or like a rabbit, all the platforming would make more sense. Again, it's just that kind of creative thing. It's like, um, if you can be this, then why are you this or something? I think I, I think I first started thinking about this when Zootopia came out, and like they really made it well. They made them. I feel like that movie did well with showing like why they had to be animals. Meanwhile, when Sing came out to kind of cash in on Zootopia's fame, it's like there's no real reason for them to be animals other than the fact that Zootopia was popular. That's probably a pretty hot... I don't know. Wait, is that a hot take? No one really likes Sing, right? I don't think anyone likes Sing. But, uh, they just kind of made a... They just kind of made them animals because they knew... I, I, I'm pretty sure it's because Splat, uh, Zootopia was popular. Just like how Shark Tale had fish because, you know, Finding Nemo was popular. Finding Nemo, like, they did pretty well with the fish thing. Though, of course, Finding Nemo, I guess, could have been a story about, like, a human child and his dad. It's it's kind of a... it's a little complicated. Did you know that Splatoon used rabbits instead of squids before? Yeah. It went from, like, rabbits to anthropomorphic squids to kids that turned into squids. And I, I don't mind that. I think the kids turning into squid thing is incredible. That's a very uh, that's a very good way to do it. That's a very good way to make a human character that really stands out because they're not just squids. They're they're squids that evolved into this humanoid shape and they could transform. Oh, that's that's not good at will. The Sing movies are pretty phony in my opinion. Yeah, I watched I watched Sing with my ex and I thought it was I thought it was just okay. Nothing mind blowing with the Seth MacFarlane rat. But uh, I remember Nintendo decided that Splatoon was going to use rabbits at first because, um... Actually, I remember the, the alpha build, they used, like, pieces of tofu. But then they decided to try using rabbits because it's like, oh, rabbits have long ears, and with long ears you can see your opponents easier, and, like, it becomes a, a bigger game of stealth, which I really like. But then they decided to shoot ink, and it's like, oh, you know what shoots ink? What shoots ink is squid, so let's try using squids. And of course, after that, they became the squids that turned into kids. The Seth MacFarlane rat is the only thing I remember from Sing. <laughs> I always forget about it when someone brings it up. This that was one of the better aesthetic aesthetics, surprisingly. What do you mean, surprisingly? I like this aesthetic because it's such a surreal world. That's another thing, like... Okay, so... 
I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share a hot tip about character design. And I tell this to everyone who's like, oh, I need help designing a character. Could you help? It's like, okay, if you want a good character design, think of the five W's: who, what, where, when, why. Uh, who is this character? What does he do? Where is he from? When is he from? Like, what time period? And why does he exist? If you can answer all five of those questions, then you got a good character design, especially if you can make it practical. Again, a practical character design is like Kirby, where uh, everything about his design is very practical, about what he does. He, he inhales, he stretches, it, it works. Cable okay, there is the only way to the peak. Sometimes I create a character to peak out, they get bored. Yeah, I, I do too. I love creating characters out of nowhere. Especially if later on I have like a character design I can use later, like whenever I'm ready to use a character. I have a lot of old character designs I'm not using, but when the opportunity arises, like, oh, I can reuse this old character design. I'm trying to think of one, but there has like some of the some of the newer characters that you guys know did come from old character designs I'd never like, used or I just abandoned. So if you if you get the uh, if you get the urge to make a character. Then go right ahead, make that character. You might, maybe you won't use it right now, but in the future you just might. So let's examine Kirby real quick. Who is Kirby? Kirby is a, a denizen of pop star who just likes to chill. That's what you know. He, you know, he's a he's a chill guy. He likes to sleep and eat. Uh, where is he from? He's from Planet Popstar. He's in Dreamland, a very surreal world that matches his cute pink aesthetic. Uh, what does he do? He inhales. His specialty is being a little inflatable guy that inhales and copies abilities and you see it well with how he stretches his mouth he shows his design well when is he from um it's really hard to say when he's from but there's scientific sci-fi stuff everywhere but it's like a lot of big fantasy stuff and why does he exist um he's kind of like he's like uh, a hero of dreamland using his copy abilities his point is to help save the denizens of dreamland from different pro different problems Starting with King Dedede stealing all the food, like, look, look at, I can answer all five of those questions about Kirby, and I think it kind of solidifies how great his design is. This is now has become unraveled. What is Kirby? <laughs> I think I think it's very important discussion, and uh, you know, every, I think a lot of people like my character designs and think I'm good at it. I think I'm good at designing characters. It's a passion of mine. But if you want to try designing characters, I say try following those five rules. It really helps. You don't have to do it. It's just a tip I think would help a lot. I think Kirby sucks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like Pickard. Yeah, Pickard, my snake character. Actually, there isn't much with him. I just kind of made him because I wanted to make a snake character. That's kind of more, more me of flexing my creative muscle rather than trying to make something that amounts to something. Which is, of course, fine. But if you really want a memorable character, I say try matching those. Never hurts to give your characters a little existential crisis. On that note, let's look back at Fantasy Zone, Opa Opa. The first game, he's there to save the Fantasy Zone. Um, at the end, he kills his father and wonders if it was all worth it. Um, that existential crisis is honestly one of the reasons why I love Fantasy Zone so much. It, it's a gripping tale and it's fun to see like what they do with them next time. Oh yeah, to get this, this Piranha Plant, you need to... Uh, you need to throw that rock at it so it swallows it, then you can throw Cappy. If you don't throw that rock, then the, the Prom Pass is just going to swallow Cappy. It's a pretty neat proposal. I love PTSD, says Ray. <laughs> you should tweet out what you said about the five who the five Ws. It's a, a lot would like to see it. I don't have a lot of reach. Um, if I had bigger reach, I would probably do it more. But honestly, I'm, I'm fine enough just repeating it to people. If, it was, if I can make a post blow up, and people, a lot of people see it and take the tip to heart, I would do it. But I'm just too small of, of someone to really give that kind of tip. Kirby is after Earth went nuclear winter. I mean, <laughs> that's always gonna be an interesting thing. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna examine any more characters. I guess if you guys want to, but um. Inkling's another good example where, you know, they live on a they live in a post apocalyptic earth. Their designs are very stylish because they love fashion, stuff like that. Some more stuff to think about. Thank you, I'm glad you guys would retweet my stuff. In fact it's it's time again for my nightly ritual of thanking everyone for 
looking at this dumbass actually play video games and enjoying art of mine. It, I can never thank everyone enough. Oh, uh, that's it? Okay, there's nothing else over here. Not even a moon. Examine Opa Opa. I don't need to examine Opa Opa. I just want to... I, I think everything's done. Uh, okay, so Opa Opa, he is a sentient spacecraft who saves the fantasy zone. He can upgrade himself. He's from the fantasy zone. Um, when is he from? It's like a pretty far off future. It's actually different. Like, the time period Fantasy Zone takes place in is different based on each uh, on which translation you're playing. And what was the last one? Why? Why? Why does he do it? Because he has a strong sense of justice. Sometimes having a strong sense of justice is really all you need. Did I just come up here? I did just come up here, didn't I? Since you're playing it, have you ever seen those cool videos about a multiplayer Odyssey mod where people play hide and seek and it's super functional and fun? Uh, no, I haven't, but I have seen that Odyssey does have multiplayer. Uh, do you guys remember before Odyssey got multiplayer mods, there was like a thumbnail with Mario and Luigi. It's like Super Mario Odyssey with Luigi or whatever, but like it didn't actually have it. It was just a thumbnail for clickbait. <laughs> That's so dumb. We love and support you. You're not a dumbass. Thank you. You know, something that's nice about being so obscure and, I guess, unpopular is that I do have- I won't have to worry about people- like, I don't have to worry about having something like Jerma's chat. I can't imagine the stress that people like Jerma and Vinny and other popular streamers have to go through with their chat. It looks like an awful time. I'm, I'm really unback here, huh? <laughs> oh god, that's fire. That's lava. Oh no, that does not work. God damn it. I really wish I had hat. Fantastic. I really wish I had hat kids move for move set from hat in time. Those chats are like a bunch of screaming preschoolers. Yeah. I feel bad for someone like German because he's made himself to be such a clown that people will will just try to clown on him all the time just to get a reaction. And he's kind of forced to do that too. Because that's, that's just how he is. You should totally watch those videos. They're so cool to watch these people hide in places that are niche shade places to get. Um, it makes me think about the Luigi's balloon world. Luigi's shitty balloon world. Where, uh, you know, people hide balloons. Actually, I remember seeing someone talk about how balloon world is a perfect, uh, odyssey thing where, like, the whole point of it is to be able to have fun, like, exploring the platforming. I thought that was pretty cool, but I never, I never actually did try Luigi's balloon world. It's just not something I'm interested in. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Force Ray to say peck. Peck you. Oh man, when Splatoon 3 come up, I'm not even gonna be peck deck anymore. I'm gonna be three way shot. I'll be peck deck on social media still. How do I throw my hat up? Okay, cool. I got it. I only, I only need six more coins. Awesome. Do I get anything from getting all the coins? I forget. I think it's just a sense of accomplishment. Luigi's balloon world, where Luigi's never allowed to physically touch the ground. Actually, do you find, don't you find it kind of fucked up that Luigi, uh, Luigi got games like this is Luigi's Mansion games features no platforming when he's the brother that can jump higher than his big brother. I always find that kind of strange. Isn't there something back here? Nothing back here. Anyway, I really don't want to play Luigi's balloon world. You know something about me though is I don't really like multiplayer games, but I, I keep talking about Splatoon. But that's just that's a game that's fun, but I'm kinda of forced to play the multiplayer. Wait, am I supposed to hit him? I'm just swimming around breaking all these, but that's like a bunch of healing stuff. Oh, oh right, right, you gotta get on this. And jump on his head. Kinda of weird to jump on his head like that. Poor Luigi, because it's not the people with the most skill that succeeds, it's the ones with the most drive. It's all about drive, it's all about power. But, 
I've said this before, I think the most important thing in life is passion. If you don't have passion for anything, you're not going to succeed in anything. Because it takes passion to, to actually make anything worthwhile. If you don't have passion, you're just going to half-ass the job. There's no point. Sometimes it helps some... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> There's just some things I'm not comfortable reading on, on stream, sorry. It's fine. I just like single player stuff more. I like a more controlled environment like that. It's the pink sauce. Yeah, it, it's barfing up the Pepto Bismol or something. It's pretty abysmal. I don't find this fun. I hate jumps that go like more vertical than horizontal. Well, this is the part where uh, Cook a Teal gets cooked, right? It's such a cute design. Look at this is another good design. Like its feathers make it look like it's wearing a chef, like a chef out apron, chef shirt, whatever. And you know what it's all about just from that reason. And even though it's crazy eyes, you know it's like a little unhinged. See, Nintendo does great designs like this all the time. I don't know why the Brutals have to exist. Mario's gonna get Salmonella. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard of the pink sauce, have you? Oh, um, is that a Zoomer thing? Do I want to ask? Oh God. All right, we did it. Pink sauce is poison. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh God. Splendid, it looks as like though we, that's we, looks as though we collect another, a lot of power and whatever. We are make our way to the next kingdom now. Okay, but I want, I want to be in this kingdom for a bit longer. Hold your damn horses. Google image search pink sauce and you'll find out. I'm scared to do that. Are memes getting worse? It's such a dumb question, but I have to wonder. Is a TikTok trend? Yeah, okay, memes are getting worse, okay. That's all I needed to hear, TikTok. I ate too much, I'm stuffed. Where the fuck does it go? Oh, it's one of those stupid rabbits. God, I hate rabbits. God, give me that shit. Pink sauce was a pink colored dipping sauce created by a TikTok user. It became known because of controversy over concerns of food poisoning. Uh, you mean coaling the weak? It's natural selection after all. Pink sauce is a TikTok dipping sauce that a woman shipped unrefrigerated and led to many people getting sick. Okay, so coaling the weak then. Natural selection at its finest. Our stupendous stew will turn out fine, and there's lots of it, so we're going to throw a celebration soon. So Bowser didn't steal the stew? Don't miss our cooking carnival. It's a big eat and greet party with El Brain visitors from all over. I really want stew. We don't have any ice cream, so I don't want ice cream right now. What is that? It's like a bean or something? Did I go into it? Whatever. You know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna keep the art outfit on. I won't. I won't screw over and get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the souvenirs. I should start buying the souvenirs. Really, let's go back inside and buy the souvenirs. Don't say that, that means we'll get five more new Super Mario Brothers games. I don't care, I want more, I would love more new Super Mario Brothers games. Because I actually like more Mario. I said it. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I just I wish Mario Maker got more support. I should really mod the 3D games in Mario Maker. Someone said soup, and then they put a ramen emoji. Seems legit. Wait, what am I doing? I should. Uh, 
Let's see, I think there's a lot of this ocean to do. Would you eat the crystal fruit? <laughs> do you mean this fruit right here? Because I watched Adventure Time and I saw what happens when you eat a crystal apple. Then again, I'm not, I'm not a zero IQ uh, TikTok person, so I don't I, I don't think I would eat something that looks risque. Where's the Hammer Brothers? Would you not want to be Lumpy Space Christic <laughs> Princess? What? Don't ask me that ever again. Do I really have to bring a Hammer Brother all the way from over here, all the way to there? Okay, let's get started then. I like Hammer Brothers anyway. I think Hammer Brothers need more respect. They've been in since the first Mario game. They can think for themselves. They're the elite soldiers. They, they, they really do deserve more respect. Oh, there's the moon that I got earlier. What about eating the crystal coconut? How about a coconut cream pie? Actually, I hate coconuts. I don't want coconuts near me at all. No coconuts at my party. I'm kind of biased to Sledge Brothers. Uh, no fetishizing Sledge Brothers in my chat. No one's allowed to fetishize Sledge Brothers. Ever. Why does the Hammer Brothers sound like this? They sound like they're, they're just like right wearing a fucking weird microphone thing. I bet this cheese block has nothing in it. And I did this all for nothing. Wait, no. I need to destroy you. Okay, you know what? I need to get something. Uh, let's see. Sledge Brother Color Splash. Where is he at? There he is. The Shady Sledge Brother. Check out this guy. For all you Color Splash haters here, look who was in it. The Shady Sledge Brother. You add these shades onto anything, it's instant sexy. We're gonna leave him there for a bit. Thank you for keeping the, the chat safe, Raid. Sledges are a protected species. Yeah. No one fetishizes the Sledge Brothers on my watch. Maybe the Sledge Brother brought a microphone from Wish. <laughs> what the hell? That's the coolest Sledge Brother it is. Glad to see you got a guest star. <laughs> he is a Chad. I remember being a pretty tough boss fight, too. Now you guys know, for all the people who condemned Color Splash, now you know. Next one, uh, what's next, Ruined Kingdom? What if instead of fetishizing them, we fetishize the people they fly? No, 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 Sledge Brothers are not part of it. Hammer Brothers, sure, not Sledge Brothers. Now we can head to the Bowser Kingdom. Wait a second. Oh, that can't be good. Alright, we're gonna get sidetracked again. It's fine. I don't want to go to the Weeb Kingdom yet anyway. Wait, are there any costumes in this one? I don't know if there's any costumes in the Ruined Kingdom. Are there even any purple coins? Sledge Brothers are the large Hammer Brothers. What would like the larger Boomerang or Fire Brothers be called? I think they're just... I think they're just called Sledge Fire Brothers or Sledge Boomerang Brothers. I don't remember. Mario Maker has something. Let me see. Mario Maker Fire Bro. Super Mario Maker 2 Wiki? What? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's called a Heavy Fire Brother. 
Crazy. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now we know that the fire versions are called Heavy Fire Brothers. That's that's neat. Since he took the time to steal the stupendous stew, he stole it. I thought they, whatever. I imagine that's what he's serving at the reception. Seeing as how we got some, no, we don't have time to kill. We'll get on with that. Look at those fat forks; they're funny. Now back to our investigation. Let's uh, what the the Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom is that Bowser? I've got a bad feeling about this. Sledger Brothers are too cool to be fetish. They're just shades of uh, protection or something. What? Are we shaking? Why? There he is. Better size that instead. The world could use more dry Bowser. God, he looks good in that suit, doesn't he? Again, he wears that suit better than regular Bowser does. Let's see who survived this plumber boy. I ain't no plumber. <laughs> oh, did you see the fucked up face? That was great. Why is job these dry bouts are so good? It's those inverted eyes in the jaggy mouth is so good. You guys talking about too cool to fetishize, but Ray already fetish is already the coolest motherfucker. But Ray already did it to the coolest motherfucker, Boshi. Yeah, Boshi was so cool, he's only in one spin-off game. It is a shame they never brought back a design in some fashion. I guess Gino and Mallow too. Whatever. Wouldn't you know it, the Odyssey is broken. Oh, can I not get back inside there? Okay. We're gonna have to fight the, the dragon in uh, this... this painting gear. Ooh, it looks like people were really upset about Boshi not coming back. Look at all these coins. Who left all these coins here? It's like I can never stop playing fantasy though. <laughs> the ancient treasure chest. What a waste of a kingdom this is still. Fucking unfortunate. Alrighty. You know, at this point, I think that I'm not probably not going to 100% this game just because Splatoon 3 would probably be out at, at the time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I could just stand there the whole time, but no, that thing came out of nowhere. There's fucking electrosonics. I hate shockwaves and attacks like the in games. They don't always seem to work out how they should. Opa Opa Gator? What are you talking about? Why would Opa Opa be a gator? Of course it would work. I hate boss music like this. It works, it tries It tries to be more imposing than empowering. But of course I just like more energetic music, so. So what you're saying is you're too slow to beat games. I'm gonna beat this game, I just like it 100% because there's way too much to, to get. I have 100% of this game. But I also like to take my time with games too, so. There's that, I'm no speedrunner. I do like, I do like speedrunning a bit though. But I don't, like, I'm not the best at it. What game are we playing now? Elden Ring. Elden Raven. His music meant for Zelda or something of the nature. It makes me think of Dragon. Actually, no, it does make you think of Zelda boss music. Especially in Skyward Sword. Like, this sounds like a Skyward Sword boss theme. I'm reputable for that. I'm reputable for that because I like Skyward Sword a lot. Am I gonna miss this? Look out, lightning! Oh god, not Final Fantasy 13.
we're playing Death's Door. I, oh god, do I want to play Death's Door again? I bought Death's Door for twenty dollars, and I kind of wish I got it on sale. Not a bad game though. <laughs> I, you know, I could probably get away with streaming Death's Door and just call it the Raven because it's just crow. Actually, the Raven's design did get influenced a lot from that game. So, time to finish him off. The color palette is obvious. The Death Door is a lot more colorful than this game. It's a little, it's muted, but it's colorful. Maybe I'll maybe I'll scream Death Door sometime. I don't know how interesting it'll be. I need to play Tunic actually. I mean, we're getting rid of this guy now. He needs to go. He's stealing too much of my thunder. What about streaming Call the Lamb or if would you mod it Call the Crow? I don't want to play Call the Lamb. It's not my kind of style. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot three, like a multi moon is three. Okay. Excellent, we got all the power moons we need. Is there anything I could do here or do I have to wait for the post game? Do you have to wait for the post game? We'll come back later. It's fine. I'll play Bowser's Kingdom tonight. We're probably going to beat this game tonight and then. No, I'll probably save the final boss for next time. The Odyssey is repaired. In fact, next week I'm probably going to be taking a break from streaming. Because I'm going to have a friend visiting. And uh, I'll be too busy doing stuff to actually stream. I'll still stream art though, just not games. Coral Land makes me feel conflicted somehow. And that's just, I'm just not into those kinds of games, that's all. What if I streamed Animal Crossing, though? What if I, like, streamed a whole new island of Animal Crossing? Wouldn't that be fun? Who knows? Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption, but I'm glad we got the ship fixed. We don't have time to kill. Good. Good. Get going. Next, let's look at Bowser's Kingdom. Hmm, architecture, statue, Bowser's castle. Wait! He's a huge weeb! Okay, uh, wait, he's got his own castle? Man, we gotta help those two. If you stream Animal Crossing, that's a really short first stream. <laughs> you got a good point there. But you know, I'll balance. I will play, I will play, uh, 15 minutes of Animal Crossing and then, uh, 45 minutes of Fantasy Zone. We could balance it out. Infiltrate Bowser's castle. Okay, so since this is it, the showdown. Okay, since this is the showdown, I need, I need to get dressed back into my poncho for this. Sorry, artist lover, I need to do it. Looking at the clown suit, I just remembered that this game shows that Bowser has a bit of a fear of clowns, and that's hilarious. Alright, let's get going. If I recall, there's a Bowser head facing the wrong way. Awesome. There it is. Okay, I cheated on that one. I've been watching a, a video on like the worst moon, the worst and best moons in Odyssey. And, like that's one of the ones that I remember. So I didn't remember that one on my own. It's fine. Uh, I think I need to stack these guys, right? I for, for what? Is it just to get up here? Oh, I get the Pokio now, right? Is the Pokio up here? Thought it was. What the hell is this? Get get up the fucking block. That's just that. It's fine. Oh, what's that? Ten? Okay, I need ten Goombas for that. It's Japanese fortune coins. Not much of a kingdom, really. I brought this up before, but um, if uh, do you want to see one of my biggest problems with Odyssey? There's a video like four or five minutes called the Island Problem, and it basically comes down to how all these kingdoms are just basically like floating islands in a void. It worked for Mario 64 because that was like a surreal kind of game. 
But in a game where like you want to make a believable world, it's just kind of disappointing to see everything is like a floating island, even the Metro Kingdom. <laughs> it's funny how it only really seems to work in uh, the Lost Kingdom. See over there? Okay. For those who love Odyssey, I really say get that video watch. Here's the pop. Here's the Pokio. Love these guys. Oh, there's like a frame limit. I can't spam super fast. Whatever. I hate it, especially in New Donk City. New Donk really is the worst for it, about it. It's so annoying. They should be kingdoms. They're really just more of islands. Oh, I could have modded Opa Opa over this, huh? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I sell the Opa Opa motorcycle. That's all I need. Poke. I love this capture so much. Oop. I forgot this bird. I can't. Not after. The, they have. They actually have the worst part in the darker side. I can never forget that. You can't peck his visor. It's like the laser. It's fine. Uh, someone DM'd me something. What is that? I see a bunch of gators. I can't click that right now. Okay. Um. Anything else here? This kingdom bothers me just because Bowser's never been like feudal Japan. He's always been kind of a militaristic medieval kind of guy. So it's just seeing this feels wrong to me. And I'm still bothered by it all these years later. Can you believe it's been like five years since Odyssey came out? I think when it come out, did it come out October? My God. Personally, I always value consistency though, so there's that. I'm sorry for all the jumping streams still. It came out October 2017, yeah. So it's been almost five years since this game. I can't believe that Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, and Odyssey were all in the same year. That's incredible. What a fantastic year for games. I think Hollow Knight came out that year too. And ARMS. Yeah, I can't forget ARMS, unlike Nintendo. I'm still upset that Min Min is the character, not Spring Man for Smash. I'm upset about a lot when it comes to that game. Bowser is secretly a weeb. We are, we're all secretly weebs. I'm sorry to say that out loud, but it's true. Unfortunately, I never left my ed my edgy high school phase. Sad but true. You can see it all over my art. Don't do that! Oh god! Get off the wall, just die. Sorry, the raven can't fly. The wings are just for show. I'm all the way back here. The boss didn't respond to. Oh my god. Well, at least I can go through the door. It's fine. Get out of my, in my face. We're all weebs in this chat. Yeah. Sad but true. No weebs in my chat. Go away. No, don't go away. I don't want to be alone. Why is Mario so slow in this game? It's so upsetting. Even Galaxy wasn't this slow. Pokio thing down there, okay. <laughs> That's all it is. Stick the nose. 
It's like Silent Hill where like that, where James Sutherland jumps down the hole. Like no one tells him to do that. Or no, he sticks his hand in a hole, right? And it's like, why would you do that? I forgot like the little holes stay there. I'm not even gonna attempt to draw something on there. Get on the fucking ceiling, please. What is this attack? Glory hole moment. <laughs> okay, I admit I actually like this capture a lot, but man, do I I do I hate actually utilizing it. It's it's so nerve wracking to me. Where am I going next? Poke, 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 poke. No, let go of the get let go of the bird. Give me that. You know the best part about this game is it brought Poochie back in some for some fashion. Oh don't, don't watch out. Alright, oh, I forgot to use these bombs. I hate doing stuff stuff like this. I hate a lot of things. That's all it is. Are these birds like uh, based off something Japanese? Leave a, leave a comment below and tell me what the fuck these birds are. <laughs> I like the little tweets it makes. I'm sure it's something Japanese. It's just they're so system on the theme. They're based on birds. I like the capture log gameplay because it's a bird, though it makes me worry because beaks would not be like that. You don't. This bird does that. It's fine. This wet slapping of feet. I forgot these are actually fireworks. So they're, they're gonna explode like it and sound like it. Whistle like it. You're too slow. I'm gonna go get those coins and I'll be back. Okay. They're supposed to be based on pheasants. Yeah, they look like pheasants. Uh, did you guys know that Falco from Star Fox isn't a falcon? He's a pheasant. I guess Falco's just a cooler name. You know what's funny about Falco? This argument, this thing came up a lot when it came to a uh, bird leaf from Delta Room. It's like, funny thing I find about Falco is like when Birdly was shown to be an asshole. It's like, why are all why are all cartoon birds or video game birds such assholes? Like, Falco, Rivali. Can anyone name any actual like any other birds that are like that in video games? Because those are the only two I could think about. So saying, why are birds always like this in video games? That's that's a non-argument. You, you can't make that argument. There's only two examples. You can't say like, why is it? Why is X always Y when there's only two examples? Have you seen real birds are assholes? <laughs> that's besides the point. And I'm talking about specifically video game birds. And I don't know a lot of video game birds that are assholes like Rivoli and Falco are. Daffy Duck. Well, Daffy Duck's not a video game. Uh, D Daffy Duck isn't really uh, as conceited in that kind of way. There's a certain, there's a particular way that Falco and Rivali go, and they, they've stuck with people's minds to think that birds are always asshole. Wave from Sonic Riders is Wave really like them though? Unless you're thinking about Jet the Hawk, because Jet the Jet the Hawk was a lot like them. It just, I'm gonna I'm gonna count Jet the Hawk as part of them. Kazooie. Uh, Kazooie was just a bitch. She wasn't really like cocky like that. Wave blew up Sonic's ride. I mean, that's different. I mean, she wasn't a cocky asshole like those other birds. So I'm just counting right now: Jet the Hawk, Falco Lombardi, and Rivali in his gay hole. So those are like the three examples. And Birdly, I guess. Birdly from Delturin. Anyone got any more examples? This is my list. It's my rules.
Why are you all the way over there? Yeah, sorry for the, the Daffy Duck comment. It's like, it's, it, it's different. I just thought about Psycho from um, Earthworm Jim, but no, he's he's a villain. He's not like an asshole hero. Uh, and then I think about Ravenbeak from Metroid, but Ravenbeak's like an asshole villain as well. He's not some jealous hero. You see, there's like a specific brand I'm thinking about. How about a Mega Man X? There's no prominent like asshole birds like that like we have storm eagle and the, the crow one and storm out there's two storm things whatever storm out storm eagle that's weird we I mean, do you have that but there's not any prominent characters like how x zero and axel are of course sigma don't let go of that i don't want to be in that yet oh i'm gonna point out again this looks like pac-man from pac-man that goes to the adventures that's all Storm Eagle's a pretty nice guy, actually. Yeah, I remember him being nice in that one little OVA. There's not even weed people here, just like regular people. I'm not buying your weed junk. Get that shit away from me. I'm just gonna buy this. I'm not gonna buy any clothes. I'm facing I'm facing Dry Bowser and my poncho. That's all I need. No pants on either. Raw dogging this shit. Do I just buy a moon from every kingdom? I forget. Okay, new donker. I like the Hanafuda cards being there. You know, that's a, that's a Nintendo thing. That's not Nintendo. Nintendo wasn't Hanafuda, but like they made Hanafuda cards. That's pretty cool. You want to get a look, see what's going on inside? You gotta be dressed for battle, friend. You don't look much like a samurai. Don't want to be Sakurai. Oh, I like this. I like this reference. Oh, you know what? what? Something I really like is this little bandana. This bandana is so cute on Mario. They spam the hell of Hanafuda cards in Mario Kart Tour. Yeah, freaking Nintendo has been really leaning into the Japanese culture this, this past generation. Like, look at this, and then look at the look at Kakariko Village in Breath of the Wild. They just lay it on so thick these days. You're not samurai enough, bitch. You're in a business suit. <laughs> what do I do here? Oh, do I, I gotta use the statue, right? It's really cool because this is the actual statue that Mario turns into with the Tanuki suit. Bandanas are base. It's true. There we go. There we go. Wow, you did the same thing twice. Fantastic. Underground Jizo. Yeah, Jizo statue is what it is. Um, I've, I haven't asked. I should have probably asked this like an, a, an hour ago, but does the stream audio sound fine? You guys can hear just fine, right? I would hate it if you guys were stuck in silent with just my voice. No, get out of there. Isn't there something with these flags you can do? I forget. Sounds good? Okay, cool. My friends have a tendency of letting me look like an idiot, not pointing out when I'm doing something wrong. Nintendo wants to turn everyone in the USA into a weeb. You're implying that everyone in the USA isn't already a weeb. Uh, the other day, I was doing voice chat with a friend, and he was watching me play a game. I did two laps in a racing game until he said, where's the stream, Ray? Why would you wait, like, two laps for that? <laughs> My god. I said it the other day, but, like, I don't need help looking like an idiot. I do it on my own. So if something seems wrong, please let me know. Where's the stream, Ray? Don't, don't do that. Not right now. It doesn't work. Where are I going to take this? Give me that. I'll take that. I'm shaking my controller so fa so hard just so I can jump faster. I hate this. Where did I take this stupid statue? You can't ask me when I'm playing Odyssey. It's not working right now. 
No. No, it's you guys again. It's just two of them. I don't care. Get out of here. This is a safe for work stream. This is a this is a kid's game. God, I can't send voices like this. Mario games love to do them. What the fuck? You hit her out of that early? I didn't realize that. Did I just see purple? Oh, I see purple coins. God damn it. Get out of here. Can I hit those back at her? I can. Awesome. That's nice. I thought it's a little shortcut. Nintendo's, Nintendo's pretty rare with that. Man, that is so annoying. Ow. Oh god, reach her. Why did she try to run like that? That's so dumb. There's another example of hair force on a fucking creature. Doesn't need it. Just use the white fur she already has. Oh right, I gotta do them both like this. Destroy them, show them mercy. Hold on, I get the those purple coins. <laughs> Wait, does this this leads me to us like a secret island, right? Oh, I hate shaking the controller like this. Maybe I don't have to do it, but I just want to get there quick. Oh, it's just a little red piece of grass. I was wondering what that was. Why could they just be wumps? Whatever. Shake it good. No. I don't want to shake it good. Ow! I said Mario can't get flattened in this game. That's, that's alright. It's fine. I just realized these things make Bowser sounds. I thought they, I thought it just said bend over. Destroy. I swear I remember having trouble on this one when I was when I was younger when I first played this game for some reason. I was younger. It works. Don't know why. I really hope there's a fucking moon under here. It's so tedious. There has to be a moon here. Do I just, do I just have to destroy them? And I'm just wasting time? God damn it. Oh no, don't! Oh my god, I hate bonking so much. Bonking is so infuriating. Oh yeah, this is, just, this is a children's game. Yeah, this is a children's game. Be safe for work on this stream. <laughs> if it gets too tedious, just remember you have Dry Bowser's Moon to look forward to. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I don't fight Dry Bowser here. I fight him on the moon. I believe we had a couple days of the stream left. Oh, I gotta destroy this shit still. Can I skip this? I'll skip them. Okay, cool. This guy is not worth the time. Can I hit him when he's down like that? Oh, that's right. I have to do that. Your dumb hair out of here. Dumb hair guy.
Oh, uh, you know what's, what's really awful is the dark side, the darker side fight of this. Oh god, do I hate it. I think it's just dark side, right? Darker side is the, is the platforming challenge. It's the fun platforming challenge, not this shit. I'm sorry that this stream has been nothing but complaining. I have a lot of criticism about this game, that's all. I don't think they're particularly hot takes either, right? The only really hot take is that I don't like the aesthetic of this place and I think Metro Kingdom isn't the best one. So things can't be forgiven. <laughs> you jumping in while you're spinning? I should have tried that, but I didn't. Oh no, it's fine. What do you, are, do you speak for everyone here? Are you, are you speaking for everyone when you say we don't care? I got a text from my ex, and he said that he's at a wedding where they're playing the Final Fantasy Prelude theme and then two Xanarkin, because of course it's fucking two Xanarkin. Should I not Bowser's Castle? They really want to make it seem like this is the final place. Oh, and after this, I get Honey Loon Ridge, like one of the best songs in the game. Oh, that's exciting. Did that guy just assume my opinion? Yeah, he's speaking for everyone. How rude. Sorry. Power moon. That ever feels my my error, right? I hope it does. Yeah, it does. Cool. Oh, does people, do people remember in Mario Galaxy when Luigi randomly just had more air consumption underwater for some reason? Louder, louder what? Is the game too quiet? Anything down there? this. No, don't fall. Final weeding the game. Final weeding. <laughs> oh, bye, Pokio. The Pokio from Tokyo. Uh... Oh god, don't get hit. I meant final wedding the game. <laughs> I understand. Oops. Can I stop sucking at this game for five minutes? As everyone keeps saying, it's a children's game. Let's get that. No, go up there. Okay, due to unrelated stuff, I just remembered that, uh, this picture where Goku's like, I heard your porn addiction is pretty strong. I want to fight it. And then the next panel, he's just on the floor dead. Oh, I forgot to do that. Whatever. Uh, I just remembered that randomly. No reason at all. Um, and I think it's hilarious. It's a hilarious image. And now you guys know about it, its existence. Why are Goku memes so funny? Are you worried, my lady? Let me get the, rid of this bird for you. I was walking on all these rooftops for so long I got lost. But I found this power moon, so it's not all bad. Okay, where the hell... Where, where do you find these things? This last time I asked, what is it? Which way was I headed? Which way do you think you should go? Tell me, Captain Toad, which way... Which way would you like to go from here? Ray is channeling his internet gamer to stream, complaining all the time and sucking at the game he's complaining about. <laughs> yeah, I'm being pretty bad tonight. 
fine. Here, sell. Eat the sense of being the beat up my kid. <laughs> okay, I need to summon that, uh... I have to resummon that ogre thing, so let's, uh... Re respawn. That is a long drop. Why does it have to be so long? Oh, the stream jumping around made it even better. The first time I played this game, I destroyed this thing too quickly, too. That's fantastic. I did. I never. I never learned my lesson. Um, is it a cold take to say that? Uh, Dragon Ball is better than Dragon Ball Z because it's actually about adventure, not just fighting, 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 repetitive power, power leveling bullshit. It's like a way to really ruin Goku's character. It's not a cold take at all. Is it a hot take? Is it a hot take? Goku fights Bambi from Friday Night Funk and why? Why would you bring that up? I, no, I meant it actually is a cold take. Like, I, is, is it like zero IQ to like that, uh, to like Dragon Ball Z over Dragon Ball for that reason? I feel like it is, but I don't know. Wait, why does this thing have like a lizard tail? It's not a bird tail. It's hotter than this lava. <laughs> you know what's annoying about my opinions is that I feel like a lot of my opinions sound like they're from bias, but they're not. I feel like there's a lot of, uh... What am I doing? Oh my god. Oh god. Come on. I'm so worried about all my opinions coming off just, like, from some kind of bias. But no, I, I am trying to be, uh... That's what I'm looking for. Oh, the stream like froze. Come on. Okay. Stupid VLC. Oh, yeah, I feel like a lot of my opinions just don't seem genuine, but they are. I like, believe me. You think someone would really go online like that and tell lies on the internet? Hey, is Arthur still going? Are they still making new episodes of Arthur? Can I make this jump? Oh, I can't make that jump. No, that ended. How weird. Like, I, for some reason, I didn't think that show would ever end. Is Caillou still going? Random questions, I just remembered it though. Arthur just ended? Man, why was it going for so long? What the hell's an arc? Oh, right, right. I remember Francine becomes, or not Francine, DW becomes a cop. It's like the ultimate tattletale becomes a cop. That's hilarious. The most you sound like you have a bias is that you like turn-based RPGs, not like any modern action ones. I just think that action RPGs are dumb because a lot of them are just mashing X. I've tried action RPGs. They're just not my thing. I prefer the strategy that turn-based RPGs is good. And I, I really cannot stand the fact that Turn-based RPGs get so disrespected these days. How you still Brad got grounded in one episode? Every episode? I DK, I never watched Caillou. Oh my god! God damn it. I I hate the fact that I love this I love this capture then when you when you utilize it it kinda sucks. Okay, you know what? Let's get on the character design discussion again. I think this this bird is a great example. Like the captions in this game are great examples of a uh, character designs that kind of tell you what they are, without having to be really on the nose about it. Excuse my pun with this bird. Get on the fucking thing, please. Because this bird has a long stabby beak. It can flick it around. It is a really good design for this for what it has to do. I get what you said, but the ones that I play on the highest difficulty matching X will lead you to die. I don't care that much, but uh, I'm glad you enjoy them.
Then again, I'm not much for super bosses, so I don't even get to the, high, the hardest parts anyway. I had to force myself to play Final Fantasy uh, 12 one day. Final Fantasy 13. I played all the Final Fantasies except like, up to 10. And uh, the ones that are more action oriented, I hate a lot. I, I actually just hate the action, the active time battle. I think it's stupid. Why is Square so so obsessed with trying to blend turn based and action? They just hate turn based stuff, don't they? Ever tried drawing with the beak marks on the walls? Yeah, um, I, earlier I said that I wasn't going to try because I'm not great at it and that's tedious. But uh, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen. Act I've actually never seen any screenshots of anyone's drawings with that. That's funny. So yeah, in short, I'm biased against action RPGs, but I'm not gonna con I'm not gonna get condemn people. You know what it is? I'm not gonna really put, throw my hat in the ring about action RPGs, but um, that's pretty much it. I'm biased against them, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna pe make people not enjoy them. Though I do think Final Fantasy is ruined from it, so there's that. Oh, there's a nut. No, I. We're gonna get to the place where you you uh, grind for coins. Oh my god, I'm really gonna die right now. Can these crates not take two hits, please? I remember when this game first came out, like, to grind for coins, you just play this bonus level for like an hour. I think it's a weird, weird argument because I think a lot of turn-based RPGs can be beaten with stimulus strategies to spam powerful stuff and heal. Same with the action RPGs doing spam attacks and heal. Yeah, the thing is, if you're gonna be spamming, you might as well do it in a way that's through a menu and let the game take uh, play itself. It shouldn't ever be taken as broad scope of new or old is better. I'm not taking it like that. I just think that action RPGs are dumb. Because again, if you're uh, if you're gonna be spamming the powerful stuff, you might as well do it in a way where you don't have to. The, the game will actually be playing itself anyway. But that's just me, so whatever. Uh, how do I stop this? Oh god. Stop, please. I wish the birds weren't only in this level. Oh, don't worry, they're in the dark room and they're the worst part of the level. I hate simplifying arguments like that. I'm just breaking it down to the core mechanics. But there is definitely more nuance to it. But any nuance I can give, it kind of just goes down to that. I've been playing a lot of action RPGs lately and I, like all of them had just been kind of just spam, spam the button to win. But in both instances, the game is playing by itself, playing itself out of life. That's that's what I'm saying. The game's playing itself, so I might as well play the one where I can just mash X and win instead of the one where I have to mash X and sometimes move around. Do I really have to go all the way back? God damn it! What you're saying is difficulty is a problem for you. I don't. No, it's not that. It's like if I want to play an action game. I'll just play Bayonetta or something. I don't even care about Bayonetta or Devil May Cry. Those are just not my kind of games. I wasn't just talking about this argument about simplifying. I just see a ton of people from a not just games. Yeah. I can agree to that. No, you see, I don't mind simplifying arguments. What I what I do mind is people ignoring the nuances of arguments. Oh, Capich. Makes you think of the uh, argument against stuff like New Super Mario Brothers, kind of disregarding the whole series just because they've reused a lot of assets. Forgetting the fact that they're still Mario games at its core and they're really fun. I'm not going to say they're phenomenal masterpieces, because of course other games like Mario 3 and Mario World are, are leaks better, but they do have merits that are often ignored. Just keep action RPGs away from me and I'll be happy. Do you know what? If I'm not interested in something, don't even bring it to me. Uh, not because, like, I don't, I don't care about a lot of things. A lot of people bring up stuff that I don't care about. and. Oh, he's just up there. I'm just, just hold on, Bowser. I need to do stuff. Uh, 
And what I really hate, I really hate when people bring up stuff that I'm not into. Not because uh, I hate it. It's like, oh, I, I've been doing the cuts anyway. I, I, I don't like a lot of things. I'm not interested in a lot of things. And what I hate when, is when people bring up stuff I'm not interested in. Because then I have to either pretend to care. And if I try to do that, I just I can't put up a conversation. Why would you bring up something I'm not into? You're too late. We're off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. You will laugh. Go! Oh no, I'm being held down by the by the world geometry. Oh my god, he punched it so hard that it just disintegrated. Oh, that's great. Someone just linked me to something called Waluigi's ASMR Warning Log Volume. I don't know if I want to click that. Oh, this song is really good. This is one of the best boss fights in this game. Not as good as Mollusk Glancer person, but I love this one a lot. It's not. I, I still hate the Brutal song. Here comes the best song. Yeah, pretty much. Isn't there a way to like exploit up here or something? Oops. <laughs> you don't like the awkwardness when someone brings up something you don't care for. But personally, I'm a person that would gladly listen to my friend is passionate about it. And that's fine. You can do that. I'm just don't count on me to do that. I'm terrible at that kind of thing. I can't fake anything. You went to Tuesday with that punch. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? Get on there. Awesome. No! Get get back on there. Awesome! Oh, I made it back on. Nope. Nintendo, please don't. Do that. Don't force me off. Oh god. It's Saturday now, right now, not Tuesday. But <laughs> the strategy is that you can stay up there even when the game tries to push you off. It's pretty cool too. Oh, then I fucked it up. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, this song is so cool. Can I push these back with my hat? You can't. Get these weep firecrackers out of my face. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Why are you squishing down? We can do this! Yes, I know we can. Where's the last one at? Oh god! Do not land on the firework! Oh goodness! I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay guys. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, those rocks have hearts in them, right? Okay, cool. I'm fine. Awesome. Sorry for failing at this boss fight, but uh, no one told you to be here. <laughs> oh god. Don't step on the tiny bird. Now is not the time for being stepped on. That That's safe for work time. I had to, I had to hit the other leg. Why does this look like a wabbit? <laughs> Uh, it has Madame Brutal's face on it, if anything. Damn it. Couldn't you plan out the size that has a wooden vent? Oh, I can, huh? Oops. I've never done the strats. Ow! What the f- Oh, it hurt me. I'm not gonna do that again. Where's the guy at? 
poke its ass. Okay, we win. Cool. Boom! And that's not the last of them, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so tired. You sent them to the moon, yeah. Um, you know, something I really, really dislike is when something explodes in the game, it doesn't have like a small little bit of growth to show the pressure inside before it explodes. That's always a cool effect. Some of your raised game experience tries to be cool, immediately eats shit. Yeah, pretty much. This is why I had no confidence in myself. I'm always embarrassing myself. But I guess being alive is just a constant stream of embarrassment, so whatever. We're one step away and Bowser flew off to the moon. We can chase after him in the Odyssey. Just throw me on that globe. It is now Orb. Yazi is complete. All right. I just remember the uh, another complaint that I was discussing with someone else. Um, I will bring it up in a second. Bowser's not getting away. We'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Come on, let's save those two. Okay, so uh, I remember I was discussing with someone. Oh, there's the brown hair. <laughs> oh no. I was discussing with someone about how. Uh, the Odyssey itself might be one of the biggest problems with this game because oh I forgot about that but since it gives a it gives an excuse to travel around the world you don't really need a hub world and it kind of makes everything feel disconnected like when it came to Mario 64 and even Sunshine like there was a big hub world to explore and everything was kind of connected to there and it kind of like this person said that Nature Kingdom should have probably just been the hub world, especially with the way they hyped it up. It might have been really cool. Like it might have been a cool way to uh, get um, you know, to, to like kind of connect the world together, make everything actually feel like it. Raven wears that suit really well. Thank you. I need to change the head back. Moon Kingdom. We're actually gonna end really, really soon. I think now's a good time to end the stream, but for something to get changed. Bowser's Moon Wedding. Not Bowser's Moon Wedding yet. I am excited for the next part because I love the I love the Honeyloon Ridge. Oh, don't you look dapper? Where where the fuck did I get this from? Those two must be over there. No time to dilly the alley. Let's go. Uh, do I? Oh, it, it it keeps the raven face, so that's cool. Um, I need to change my hat. Do you feel light on your feet? Not right now. Leave me alone. Man, they force you to. Like, wear the regular hat. Bowser's Moon Pie. What the hell does that mean? That sounds sexual. Wait. Full on. Oh, I forgot the coins in this one are star bits. That's cute. I remember there's like a moon around here. But you can't get in until you get the hint out, I believe. Oops. Before you end, I found this cool PD problem I'm like, oh, I bet I know it's in this. It's the open mouth one, isn't it? In the vast majority of his appearances, the default pose of PD Prana's model has been slightly open mouth, similar to how he appears when he's idling. However, for unknown reasons, in Mario Kart Double Dash, his default pose has him open with his mouth extremely wide. For apparent friend, PD Piranha's usual default pose, T-Pose, using the majority of his appearance seen here in Super Mario Sunshine, 
products, PD products, unique T-Pose, use exclusively a Mario Kart Double Dash. I really don't understand this myself. <laughs> I guess just the way the model had to be stored. Um, from what I've seen, whenever I make a model, I, I, I have the mouth slightly open. Like Every model I've seen that has, that has a snout, the mouth is slightly open to help it link, link to the bones. So that's pretty funny. Super Mario Bros. is awesome. He, he does such good stuff that looks like shit posts, but they're not. If only PD Pro opened his mouth that much during his sunshine fight. Stop sucking. Um. Well, <laughs> I just broke that. Uh, Peter. Peter Prana. <laughs> Stop. Can you get on the block, please? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I didn't, I didn't need that other block, but thanks. You got a moon shining above the moon. Aren't they all shining above the moon? What the fuck? Can I get on top of this? No, it just has some nice jiggle physics, though. Okay, we should end here before I get tempted to play more. I am having fun, though. Let's sit down here. Alright, I'll go ahead and thank you guys for coming to the stream. I uh, appreciate it a lot. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. I Yeah, I will be game streaming again tomorrow. I won't be art streaming, though, so... 8 p.m. Eastern Time, as usual. Oh, he hello person that just got here. I'm not glitching the game. The, the stream is just stupid because VLC sucks. Anyway, I hope everyone has a good night. Uh, thanks for coming. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Wow. Once more. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> wow. Really? Ah. Wah. Ah. Wah. That's not ah. Give me a roar. Ah. ah. There it is. Night.